Um, so back again with another vlog. Um, it's been a while since I posted a video, but you know, just keep checking on the channel, and you will see when I post. Or if you subscribe, you're definitely gonna get notified when I actually do post. But yeah, here are the same DR10 chassis again. There's some recent stuff that I did to it recently. Uh, I would say it's good and it's also bad. Good in the sense that I start to really learn censored, censored motor versus non-censored. And right now, as I was telling before in the previous vlogs that I'm running a censored motor. So here is the combo that I'm running right now. 10.5 turn motor and the ESC as you can see there. So the most recent changes as you can see. Um, every time I film this vlog, the, um, the car is actually on top of the box. So it's actually working in my favor now because I'm going to show you the difference right now. So here's the width of the car from factory. And then now here is the width of the car currently. So as you can see, I clearly took off some weight off the car. Uh, a lot of people will be like, oh, if you do that, would it still run straight? Or it's going to mess up the... See, so I bought you know, it's just a chair in the background. But some people might say, but oh, if I take off the sides, is it going to, you know, mess with how straight the car goes? And, you know, the whole drivability of the car. But I can tell you from the videos that i'm going to basically show you guys in a minute that it has no form of difference really only thing is that i'm getting probably like two extra miles per hour from that but right now as i said no problem no worries because as you can see i'm running a small drug pack battery but it's only a 60c battery so you know there's a lot more potential you can get out of the motor but generally these people would use the 4.5 turn motors So when you really look at it, there's not really, as I said before, I got uh, like two or three more miles per hour from doing this. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool like this instead of all the extra stuff that was on it before. I know people use them for like weight reduction and uh, well, yeah, pretty much weight reduction from what I, I'm doing, basically trying to achieve. But apart from weight reduction, I see people put like the downpour stuff for that. I am new to the hobby, but at the same time, I still have an understanding of, you know, what makes stuff go faster and all of that stuff. So <clears throat> along with gearing, uh, trying some new gearing with the car as well. Picking up some speed with that as well. Um, I watched a video the other day on YouTube where I saw somebody getting like 24 miles per hour, 28 the max, the most out of this, out of the ready to run version out of the stock motor. As I said that this motor over here, it's not very, very fast and really ideal for drag racing, but I got it nonetheless, basically off of, you know, just getting into hobby, wasn't doing a lot of research at the time. But at the same time, as I said, I don't mind because there is still good progress to be made so a lot to be learned i said that with a 10.5 right now i am doing the fastest i've gone is i think 32 miles per hour 
at 62 feet. There's a lot more to come with the car. I'm going to definitely change the motor, but I'm holding on for a little bit. I actually picked up this actually this thing I was supposed to tell you guys about, but I picked it up the other day and uh, it's working really well. As you can see, it's the GNSS Performance Analyzer, and man, that thing works awesome. Like it's pretty good so you know I recommend that you guys try it out and you know see how you guys like it uh, gonna do some more reviews on some of these products that I've bought but at the same time you know it's just to find the time so thanks for watching and you know a lot more stuff to come I am planning to do another build on a different car soon this one I'm probably gonna Let's do a battery swap on this now to really get the power out of the motor really going. But not much really to be done. You know, I can actually get it in the faulty my power bracket with some of the setup that I have right now. It's just a battery. I have to really get a good one. So, you know, as I said, keep it locked. 876 RC Jacksters, and we will have more content coming soon.